Hello and welcome to another lecture of this AutoCAD series. So in this lecture, we are going to see one exercise on layer. So we are going to start our AutoCAD and we are going to again work with this diagram. You can see that in the previous exercises, we have added up the dimensions and I have added some more things like I have just added up a hatch over here and I have added up this text, which is this text is for teaching purpose and all dimensions are in MM. Now what we are going to do, we are going to divide each and every sections into different layers like I'm going to create a separate layer for the text, separate layer for dimensions, separate layer for hatches and separate layer for center line. So separately, I'm going to separate everything with, with the layers. So how to do that? For that, I'm going to click on this layer property. Since now, since till now, there is no layer created, only the default layers are there. So we have to create our user layers. So for that, I'm going to click on this layer property. And first layer I'm going to create, which is hatch. And I'm not going to change many things. I'm only going to change the color. So I'm going to put a color. Let's just put a green over here for the hatch. And then for the text, text, I'm going to create a separate layer for the text. And I'm going to create a basically color for, they ca you can say that it can be blue. That will be perfect. You can have any color. Again, just go for the new layer and just create a layer for dimension. I prefer dimension color to be yellow so that it should be clearly visible. So I'm going to put a yellow color on it. And for the sections, okay, so hatch I have put, I have put a text, I have put a dimension and now it's left, which is center line. So center line and its color can be red. The You can use a color red over here. So now you can see that we have created total layers uh, that we want. And uh, there's a default layer as well that we are going to use. So just now it's time to just switch up the layers. So since we have already, the diagrams are already there. So now we can't create it on the layer. We have to just change them to that layer. So let's say that I want to change the dimensions uh, to the dimension layer. So for that, I'm going to click on the dimension. If you want to select a similar dimension at once, then you have to right click over one of the dimension. And there's a tool that is known as select similar. If I'm going to click on this, you can see that all the similar dimensions will automatically going to be selected at once since it was linear. So all the linear dimensions were selected at once. Similarly, if I'm going to click on this uh, diameter, then I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to click on the select similar again. You can see that all the diametric dimensions are also been selected. Just click on the layer section from here. Just make it to dimension. You can see that now it has been switched to the dimension layer and the color has been changed to yellow. Similarly, I'm going to do that for the text. I'm going to select all the text and I'm going to make it for the text layer that is blue. And for the hatch, I'm going to click on the hatch layer and a hatch editor will automatically going to open. So just go for the home tab and again, just click on the hatch and now it's in the hatch layer. Similarly, just select the center line with select similar. Okay. Just select the center line, just make it select similar. It will going to select all the sim center lines. Just make it to center layer. And this center lines I don't want. So, okay. So these are also center lines. So I'm going to select these two. And over here, I'm going to make it as default, which is zero. So now you can see that we have separated the parts of the different designs into the different layers. And this is how you can do that. The best part of the layer is you can just skip or you can just switch off the layer that you don't want. Let's say that I don't want this dimension to be visible for a while. So I'm going to switch off this dimension layer and all the dimension will going to be invisible or it will going to be vanished. Similarly, I can just do that for the center line as well. And you can see that now only the dimension or basically the figure hatch as well as the text is there. You can even have the layer walk. You can just go for the layer walk from here. Let's just go for the layer walk and you can just change or you can just select the layer that you want to see at once uh, or you can just select multiple layer so that it will going to be visible all at once and whatever layer that you want. 
you can just uh, let just turn on all the layer and you can just if you want you can just merge out the layer let's say that you want this text layer to be merged with the dimension you don't want a separate layer for text so what you can do you can just go for the merge option over here from this property section which is the layer merge this is the layer merge just click on that and just click on that and it will going to open in the command box and it will going to ask you to select the layer that you want to merge so i'm going to click on this layer uh, or the object and you can see that both the object will going to be selected at once and then it will ask you for the uh, and just press enter and then it will going to ask you for the target layer so just click on the dimension and now you can see that it has been merged it but here it will it will ask you for the permission that whether you want to continue or not so just make it yes and now it has been shifted to the text layer a uh, dimension layer the text layer has been vanished and you can even lock the layer and let's say that i want to lock the dimension layer and you can see that it is now being very much faded you can just control its fadeness from here if you want more to more fadeness you, fading you can just select of more fading from here so this is all about the layer and how you can just use it on an object so that's all for this lecture and i'm going to catch up you in the next one